Hi there. My name is Walker Reynolds. I'm the president and managing partner of Intellic Integration based in Dallas, Texas. We're a full service systems integrator. Um, we partake in all phases of system integration from design and uh, building of panels all the way up through uh, high level integration of SCADA, MES, OEE, and ERP systems. We are an ignition by inductive automation subject matter expert and that is the um, topic of this video. Um, in this video, what we're going to do is show you how to dynamically resize a window quickly, firing a button. Um, in this case, <clears throat> this is not uh, opening and closing a opening and closing a window, but it is uh, using Python to redraw the window so that it looks um, a little sleeker in the way that it opens and closes. And I'll show you what I mean here. This is our corporate ERP system that we built inside of Ignition. Um, our splash page that retargets to all of our different projects, but up here we have it. We have a nav tree that's operating here on the left, and what this button does is it allows us to open and close that window uh, dynamically. Um, and I'm going to show you how we do that. Um, so it's pretty simple. We have a header, and we have a nav tree over here. Um, on the header itself, we've got some properties in the root container. We've got the navigation tree width. We have the step by, and we have the timer bound. So here we are dynamically going and getting the size of the navigation tree. Um, and we're doing that by running a script in the expression language. Um, so here I'm running a script that's just going and getting the width of that window. Okay. Uh, the step by is how quickly I want that window to open and close. This is the number of pixels that are going to get drawn. So essentially what we're doing is we're getting width and then we're adding pixels to it and redrawing it. Okay. So in this case we're, we're jumping 25 pixels every time we draw. That's why you see it Turkey jerky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to one, and the next time we run it, you'll see uh, that it, it runs much smoother, but it takes a lot longer to run. Um, <clears throat> we have this button on the window, and all this button does, that's what we're going to click, and we're going to turn our timer on. Um, when the timer code is done running, it's going to turn itself off. So here is where we're running all of our um, code, and I'm going to show that to you um, in Sublime, <clears throat> so I can get it all in the same window. Uh, in a later in a later video, I'm going to show you how to do this using Java, but in this case, we're just going to use the Python API inside of Ignition. Um, so the first thing we have some configurations in here. So you could literally take this code and drop it into a into another um, project, and all we have to do is change the names of the of the windows that we're working with. Which hide menu path is the window where the button is located. Um, and Navwin path is a window that we are resizing. Um, so the first thing we do is we go and we get the uh, window objects for the navigation tree and our header. Um, and the first thing we say is if the dock north window is already fully open, then we're just going to make sure the nav tree is not visible by making its width zero. Then we're going to get all the open window objects, and this should just be the dock north window, the nav tree, and whatever floating window is open. Um, then we say if the timer is not at its full value, we're going to go ahead and iterate through all the windows and do some resizing. Okay? Um, and so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the location of the window, and then we're, we're just going to run a, an if else statement. That's it. If the toggle button is not selected, then the nav tree is not visible, and the dock north window is fully open. So we're going to use the step to gradually open the window. Okay, so what, however pixels we say to draw at a time, we're going to go ahead and gradually open the window. That's what we're doing here. Otherwise, we're going to open the nav tree gradually, and we'll decrease the width of the dock north window gradually. And that's what we're doing here. There's a couple of, there's an if, if, uh, if LF here where we're saying, if it's the nav tree, do this, resize it this way. If it's the header, resize it this way. Otherwise, we're just going to hide the nav tree. So, um, um, we're going to set the dock position, uh, make sure that the, tree, the, the, the header and the nav tree, which are both dock windows, are in the correct location, and we're going to go ahead and make sure that that nav tree is hidden by giving its width zero. When we're all done, we're going to turn the timer off, and we're going to set the timer value to zero. Okay? The one thing I would recommend here, and, and we didn't put it in this code specifically, but we will be adding it, is a try accept uh, right here. So we should have a try. After we go and get all the open windows, the, get the open windows, we should have a try here that says, make sure the nav tree and the header are open. Because if they're not open and we go ahead and try to resize windows that are not open, 
uh, we're going to throw an error. So we want to make sure that those windows started out opened. Uh, this would we, we want to do that in the event that another developer comes in later on and and doesn't have the nav tree open by default. It's not one of the starting windows. Okay. Um, but that's the only thing that we need to change here. So uh, what I did was I, I changed this step to one. So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run this again. Um, actually, I need to do that differently. I did that on the timer. And I want to make sure I did it on the root container. OK, I did. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you how it slowly will open if we, if we have the step set to one. There's a couple things we can do here. We can change the delay on the timer, and, but now it's going to take forever. Right now it's redrawing 222 pixels uh, every 100 milliseconds. So it's drawing one pixel every 100 milliseconds. So it should take 22.2 seconds to fully open um, the nav tree, right? But this is, this is the cleanest it can open. So this is the reason that we're probably going to use Java um, in, a, in a permanent installation. The other thing I can do is uh, change this to um, 220. So if I just change this to 220 and publish it and relaunch it, this would be this is going to act as if we're opening and closing the window, and it would really defeat the purpose. We would just open and close it using a much simpler piece of code. This code's really only used if we want to gradually open and close it. So now it's just going to fire pop pop because it's opening and closing at the full the uh, full number of pixels on each draw. Um, okay, so that is how you uh, dynamically resize a window using the Python API inside of Ignition. Um, I'll put the code in the comments, uh, or put com code in the, uh, com the description below. And um, thanks for watching.